We have here with us Mr. Yassin Adnan, an author and the president of the Marrakesh English Book Festival. Welcome, Mr. Yassin. We are very pleased to have you with us. You're welcome. Hello, Sarah. Thank you. Um, so we would like to know your expectations about this festival, first of all. My expectations is that we spend three wonderful days where we are going to meet or people that we have invited meet each other. You know, we have invited Moroccan, young Moroccan writers, uh, established Moroccan writers. Uh, when I say young Moroccan writers that write in English, I mean, uh, when I was working on the Moroccan TV presenting books for more than 10 years, I was receiving always books from small Moroccan cities in English and self-published by the authors themselves. This is an opportunity for us first to receive these people, to talk to them, to uh, give them the opportunity to meet publishers, either Moroccan and British publishers, and again, uh, some British and uh, uh, Anglophone writers that has written about Marrakesh, Tangiers, Morocco, and all uh, the Arab Islamic world. So uh, it is an opportunity. My ex main expectation is just to give this opportunity for these people to meet and to have some kind of uh, uh, interaction. Yeah, maybe that way they can publish their work on like a wider range for more people to read. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. So you said that the festival is going to be going on three days. So would you please talk to us about how the three days are going to be? Um, uh, it's three days working. We have panel since 10 uh, uh, p.m. Uh, till uh, uh, 6 p.m. And uh, all these panels, I mean, are about books because we have insisted not to talk in uh, general debates, uh, uh, abstract ones, but rather to present books, new books, uh, either written by Moroccans or written about Morocco, Marrakesh, and uh, the Arab world, as I have just said. Uh, the idea is that uh, we will start, we are starting today in Qsura Gafay. Uh, the next day will be in Dar Sharifa. The last day will be at Dar Bilarj. And the last day, it will be at the same time, I mean, we will present some new books, uh, we will receive some new authors, but still we will have something like a very professional meeting in which, I mean, uh, uh, publishers, distributors, and the writers will have something like a closed uh, 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 discussion where we will talk about the real technical problems that the English book is suffering from in Morocco to publish it and to receive it and to get it distributed in Moroccan bookshops. So this is making me wish I was a writer right now <laughs> to be able to be like in. No, maybe. no, you are a journalist. You know, journalists are our partners. So you yeah, are exactly. You will, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you will be welcome. Thank yeah. you. So we're talking about books. So that leads us to the importance of reading. So like. For you personally, how important is reading, especially for young people? Because we say that we are the new generation and we can only be great, I think, by reading. So can you please tell us the importance of it and maybe like how can young people develop their English through reading? Yeah, of course, we develop all language through reading. And I think personally that that should start from the house. <laughs> Even if the parents have a very small apartment of uh, 50 mètres carrés, still, I mean, even if, if they don't have a room for a library, they can just put a shelf with something like five, six books. It's more than enough. And it's important for the children to see that there are books in the house. And parents, again, should read. Even if they are not good readers, they should pretend reading in front of their children. Because you, you can never persuade your son or your daughter to read if you do not give the example, if you do not read yourself. Because we say that like children like to copy their parents. You yeah. know, whatever Absolutely. the parents do, the yeah. child be like, even if they don't understand it, they be like, oh, my dad is doing this, so I'm gonna oh, do it let myself. Me do it. Let me do it, let me do it. And this is why we have invited also a publisher, a Moroccan publisher, that publishes books for children. We are going to give her the opportunity to talk to um, students of primary and, uh, and uh, compulsory 
school at the British Academy here in Marrakesh. We have again another meeting with uh, a storyteller uh, uh, at Darblerj on uh, in our last day on uh, Sunday. So, I mean, yeah, we are trying, and, and again, we will go to the university to meet students at Qadi uh, Ayyad University at Kuliyat al uh, The idea is that we know that public is multiple, yeah. but trying to meet like different we're types. Every, like we're targeting every category. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, with, with different categories and with different types of readers and would-be readers. Yes. Thank you so much for this interview. Yeah.